Hello, and welcome back to another episode of What's on My Desk with me, Edwin Wood. On my desk today are some fragments of a type of Roman pottery called Samian ware, otherwise known in Europe as Terra Sigillata. Dating from the 1st to the 3rd century, Samian ware is a typical Roman pottery. It's found uh, across Roman Britain and in fact across the Northwest Roman Empire. Um, it's made initially in southern Gaul, uh, and then it spreads, the industry spreads from southern Gaul into central Gaul, and then from central Gaul into eastern Gaul, and then it spreads up the Rhine and into Britain, and then the industry collapses. So what you see is this industrial spread across Gaul, or modern day France, into uh, what's now western Germany, and then up the Rhine region. It's really, uh, it's a middle class tableware rather than being sort of your upper class, not your lower class tableware. It, it's sort of middle class. It's granny's best china is the best way of thinking about it. Uh, it was mass produced on a scale really unseen again until the industrial revolution. Uh, it has a, a very shiny, hard outer surface, and this is uh, called a vitreous slip. So it's not actually glazed. What's happened is they have dipped it into a slip, uh, like so, which is a liquid clay. Um, and then they fired it at sufficiently high enough temperature that actually the, the outer surface vitrified, basically turns to, almost turns to glass uh, and becomes a shiny outer surface. This is a reproduction of a uh, Roman cup. Um, it's very, very ubiquitous. It's found everywhere, as I said, but perhaps the most interesting and important thing that happens with same anywhere is that you get it stamped. So you can see in the center here, there's this little linear stamp. And that stamp uh, carries the name of probably the slave who manufactured this. Now, we don't really know why they stamped their name on it. It could be that they were being paid for piecework or it could be that they're keeping a record of how much that they produced, uh, or it could be a, a simple branding technique to sort of for people to buy the what they thought was the best type of the pottery. Um, what's the most interesting thing about this is that those slaves who mark their names on this pottery, we know a fair few of them, we know a good number of the slaves, uh, however, we know very, very little about the owners of them who made all that money. And so actually, the people who stood the test of time are not the incredibly rich owners who made the money off the slaves. It's the slaves themselves that we remember, which I think is actually a nice twist to history here, that the slave has lived on uh, in our history books and that while the master is forgotten. So that's what's on my desk today. Roman pottery. Come back again soon and see what else is on my desk. Uh, it's not just Roman stuff, I assure you.